your platform, you have an opportunity to juggle, like, the, oh, the best oh. thing that you could land We're with. We're actually going to town and city. Oh, okay. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. X doesn't know how to use the tablet. <laughs> I, I was expecting, like, oh, okay, there's probably something I don't know about this matchup. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it, it kind of still applies, uh, you know, a, a lot of it, because, like, you know. Um, but, yeah, town does give you the uh, platforms, so definitely have a now now you can actually apply that harassment and yeah, oh, this yeah. is this is definitely a stage of like I've started game one uh, versus skeet before yeah the high blast zone helps a lot there too yeah yeah especially when you have dancing blade yeah Boy. absolutely oh, whoops. not helper Whoosh. all right starting out town of city X at the ledge Keep getting some extensions. Yeah, I like that. That's going to be really important is just, like, falling through. Like, if you're going to land on the stage, you can fall through it. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about Kazuya landing with any intangible or absurdly prioritized BS. And continue your juggle. Uh, wow, what a call up. That's not going to kill quite yet. Um, other stages, I wouldn't have known. But it's nice to have that off the... Oh, wow, that does kill it. I was going to say it's nice to have... Uh, the charge off the table. But, oh, here goes a triple dunk. Oh, gets the sour spot on the last one, so it's not quite sealing the deal, but still a crazy amount of damage. Every normal that Kazuya has does an absurd amount of damage. A little bit of dash dance to get away from the, um, the up tilt to start the combo there. And sour spot bear takes it. Uh, Skeet, unfortunately, missing the tech on the platform. We're seeing a lot of X staying at alternating between like full hop and short hop height, but always retreating. Like he wants to take a little bit more stage. Right there. He's burning his double jump. He wants Skeet to come in and try to get a combo starter going. So that he can punish it. Up B just to kind of reset the situation. I like that. Five gives him off the ledge. He's kind of looking for you know, any option he could find to seal the deal. Yeah, a lot of out of shield spamage, um, which X is not going to really worry about. He's spacing a lot of his aerials really well, so he's not getting too close. Yeah, even stuff on parry. Safe. Using as much time off stage as possible is Skeet. Um... So far, there hasn't been like a, a serious offstage edge guard because of it. Ooh, such a great call out. I didn't even notice how much percentage had been racked up uh, on X, but that was necessary. That percentage was his percentage is double what Kazuya was, and you do not want to be in that situation. So important to get that evened out. Now you can just you know play a little patient. You can space all your arrows. You don't need to get anything going. You can just whip punish. Uh, and when you have as much reach as Marth does, which you kind of need in this matchup, uh, you can whip punish. That's the center stage. Yeah, all these aerials are so well spaced that uh, even when Skeet parries them, they're just completely unpunishable. Still not dead at 174. Oh, the second one would have done it. That sweet tipper Nair. There we go. That's the edge guard he's been going for. Skeet didn't give an opportunity until now. Yeah, X is really good. X put me in the dirt so bad that I haven't competed in a tournament in a month and a half after losing to them. Or... No, oh, yeah. Him. Alright, both sticking to their guns. I didn't see that they didn't select... Okay, cool. So we're going to FD, which makes sense. Uh, on a counter pick, I can understand that pick a little bit better. Um, 
Yeah, I haven't really seen any impressive strings coming out from Skeet either. Like nothing amazing has started out. We've seen little two or three pieces. Haven't seen like any anything that leads into Win God Fist. Um So X is just like I don't think needs to play scared in any capacity. Like spacing is fine. He can just keep retreating. I'm finally, this is me finally watching Kazuya have a weakness and being like, oh, okay. I think I just have a character with a terrible matchup. Man, the only opportunity that X is really giving to punish are these neutral beasts, and Skeet is kind of missing them. Oh, no jump. That's going to be taking it. Yeah, takes the stock. So we haven't really seen Skeet play from a, a lead like this, so I, I'm interested to see... What happens when Marth has to approach? Ah, uh, <laughs> Marth doesn't approach, and Skeet lets it rip either way. I'm pretty sure. Can you di in? Can you have the percentage lead? Either way. Okay, that's the type of string I was talking about. That was an FD string. That was what's been lacking in this set so far. All right, we got Kalos. We're going to PS2. We got Kalos in Town and City Band. Stop battle. I think those close set side blast zones kind of benefit the party equally. Exit center stage. What do we got going on? Just kind of fumbling around for stray hits. Um, in these moments where they're both swinging, X just kind of pulls away. He's got a big, like, I don't care how strong your fist is. I got a sword. I'm at a distance. Just lets it rip. Okay. He looks like he's getting a, a little bit better of a handle on the moments that... X is deciding to go in. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, that command grab in the air, super armors through, and yanks him off stage. Unmashable. Not much to be done there. Um, X is just going to need a game or a stock like we saw three of in the first game. Which so far, doing pretty good, but well, you don't want to be hit. Oh, and you don't want to air dodge in. Not the worst. 50 damage is you're you're coming away relatively unscathed from Kazuya, but this stock needs to be gone ASAP. Wow, well spaced. Side B gets the tipper on the last hit, uh, and X baited out that side B. Oh, but it's it's over. It doesn't matter. That was such a fast turnaround after a drawn out, pretty commanding game one. And it was so jarring, too. It felt like the neutral interactions were equal. Um, and it was pretty fast-paced. But you just keep looking down. You keep looking at the percentage that's racked up. And you're like, oh, that's right. That was a kill option. And it killed because I didn't notice that Marth was at 110 already. That was such a smart option. See, this. We need more of this. It's like baiting Ganon to side B. <laughs> All right, so, oh, wow. Yeah, it's 70, and that's just that. Not much to be done there. Yeah, I would not be happy with that ending. I feel like he was pulling it together really well. Uh, 